Hello everybody and welcome back! Today we got some Old World Blues on the menu, I hope you're excited. And on top of that, we're gonna be playing in the Great White North, or the Great North as they call it. We got kind of a more fun country today to play, nothing uh, too serious, but we're gonna try out the Roach King. Every time I open up Old World Blues, I swear the map is bigger. These guys are non-stop always working on new content for this mod, and if they keep going at this right, I don't even think my computer's gonna be able to run this. The focus tree's pretty streamlined, I think it goes straight down, you have to do uh, left and right, and then you can do this, so you have to do both sides, and then it goes straight down, you can pick which way you want to go. Uh, for the most part in Old World Blues, they do a pretty good job of hand-holding for that stuff, so I won't have to show too, too much. I'm really impressed by the 3D modeling they did as well. And I'm doing industry research right away. I don't know what's really best or meta in Old World Blues. All I know is I want to have a good industry. I don't know if that means I'm gonna have a bad army for it, but uh, I guess we'll see. And if I mess up along the way, you guys will get to be here with me, per usual. Nice, and the focus is at the start on only seven days. And yeah, we're going with the Civ uh, workshop. I think that's the best case here, plus the manpower and stability. I don't think you can go wrong with that. And I've already played 4.0. I actually got a pretty good idea how to get a lot of bottle caps early on. I'll show you guys. Also, we're creating a agency super early because that's gonna lead into the same thing. I love this. The Roach's King's Land is ruled by a series of rad roach patrols that monitor the land and protect its citizens from outsiders. However, some aspects still need to be finalized. So it's just like the idea that rad roaches are just walking around everywhere, protecting only my people. They know the difference. They're they're like sentient rad roaches, which I love. Also, we start with a lack of everything, which is a really bad debuff. So we're going to try to get rid of that as quickly as possible. And our production is super simple at the start. Uh, Anti-tank rifles plus rad roaches. Not too bad. So out of these two options, I'm going to take actually the rule through fear because it gets you daily ruler support plus 1%, uh, but it doesn't go away compared to the other option, which goes away after 180 days. So permanent buff versus non-permanent buff. I'll always take the permanent buffs usually. Ah, and I see we're having an issue with water. So we got to reach out and get water from somewhere. Maybe we'll build like water stations. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, roach to victory. That sounds like a strategy you'd use for the USSR in a regular uh, multiplayer game to win. Profits from drug trade. Oh, man. I didn't know I could get that. Okay, nice. So now my uh, agency is done researching. So I'm going to go ahead and get a spy. And I'm going to place this spy in an area that I know I'm probably not going to end up attacking for a long time. So nowhere really too close to me. So I'll probably just put in Bismarck. Yeah, I think that'll be a good strategy. And I'll show you guys why. Oh, and I guess since it's the uh, holiday update for this, uh, there's the Polar Soviet, which is Santa Claus, Comrade Nikolai. And he's attacking Battle 4 Bridge. So I guess it's going to get pretty spicy up here. There's this advisor, the Slave Flogger. Gets you 10% factor in resource output. I got to take him early on, even if he's probably not a great guy. So uh, I upgrade Watch Out for Spies the max amount of time. Now I'm going to get another agent. And this is going to be key in setting up the operation. That's going to make us super rich. One thing I'm going to take super early on too is Outsider Warfare. So it's on the, like, the far side of the land doctrine, because uh, mutants are technically uh, rad roaches. Yeah, take that. I know it's confusing because in the uh, focus tree, it gives you doctrine for conventional warfare. And uh, the idea of <laughs> rad roaches doing conventional warfare does make me laugh a lot, but uh, I don't think they use it. I think they're more of mutants. So we get a demand to build more military factories, so we can go ahead and take that because we haven't done the focus yet. So this times up perfectly that the next focus that we take builds are so it's only gonna be 30 days to do so it is an achievable goal everything is actually timed out pretty well in this focus tree and just like that we got our another spy infiltrator and then we're gonna put the infiltrator down here in bismarck as well just to speed that process up oh one thing i forgot to do early on is you have to begin roach nest searching because the longer you leave it um actually the more amount of roaches you get the max amount i think i've seen it is i got I think 900 roaches and uh, 1,800 manpower, I think. So the more you let it tick up, the better. Nice, we got our first unit out. That's really good. So our production is finally starting to ramp back up now that we got water back into uh, back in our nation. The Rad Roach King has brought us water to produce more Rad Roaches. Huzzah! This might be one of my favorite focuses of all time. It's a 30-day focus to get Sergeant Roach. <laughs> and he is actually a roach who you can use as like a general or a... Uh, yeah, he becomes a unit leader, so a general or a field marshal. And then also further down the focus tree, another thing that's really funny is you can get um, Sister Roach to add to the family. And if there's a Sergeant Roach and a Sister Roach, does that mean there's a Papa Roach? Cut my life into pieces! Oh, it looked like the Polar Soviets actually lost. And they got, they got puppeted. 
into two different puppets. Okay, now that we got high enough intel inside of Bismarck, we can do Raid the Treasurer. So you want to prepare this guy, set it up with, uh, I'll do my Infiltrator, yeah, because it brings up to excellent, commence with the ready, and automatically repeat, and you keep your other guy always um, building intel. So this will always go and get you 200k bottle caps. It doesn't matter how much Bismarck makes, it, you always get 200k. And you just pretty much just leave that go. And we got Sergeant Roach, let's go. And he has Rad Master. And Rad Apprentice. Wow. Okay, those are really good buffs. So he's going to be a really good uh, unit leader. Wow. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and promote Brigadier Mark Allen of Roach Patrol 1 into a <laughs> dead general. <laughs> That's too funny. He even has his little, his little <laughs> drawn, hand-drawn icon. That's super awesome. And then we're going to promote Sergeant Roach to be our field marshal and our operation in Bismarck completed. And just like that, our treasury is stocked right back up. And look, it's going again for us. So we're going to be able to constantly upgrade our uh, spy agency purely off what we steal. And then we'll also be able to run schemes like military signing bonus. And not have to worry and invest in small business. And political bribes. Oh, and while we're at it, why don't we go over to Chop Shop and buy some bicycles. So we can go ahead and fully motorize our army. Boom, too easy because we only need 200 vehicles. And now that we're done the left and right side, we have Vault War. So in 45 days, we're going to be going to war with Vault 37. Uh, so as long as we have enough units to cover the front line. So I think we need two more out in 45 days. I don't think... Yeah, I don't have enough printed out to do that, but we should be fine. Okay, perfect. And here we have the Vault War. And it's not too hard because all we have to do is take uh, Grand Forks and then we win. So with a little bit of micro, I think we'll be fine. So yeah, let's go ahead to war and micro this out. So first thing we're going to do is move here, here, and here. And go for the uh, quick move into Grand Forks. Quick move to here, and then quick move to here. I think we should be fine because we can pin with our any other units while we move in. Oh, and also quickly, while we're at war, Wasteland equi uh, to a well-equipped army. That's cheaper because we have the advisor. Perfect. That's one thing I wanted to make sure I had enough save for. So now we're going to go ahead and pin that while that guy walks in there. We're going to go ahead and pin here. Perfect. And then that should be a War 1 with a little bit of industry micro in between. Hopefully you guys didn't mind that too much. Yeah, see now he's getting attacked. Boom. And there we won the war. It wasn't too hard, eh? <laughs> so I plan to attack the Old Believers next, so I'm just going to go ahead and line up on them. Boom, another operation went off, so I have 200k caps again. And just like that, new citizen care package. See, this is why I actually don't have to even go out on raids to get uh, my caps. I know I could probably get other stuff like army XP and stuff, but uh, for the most part, I think it's easier if I focus on this. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, though. Also, you get this advisor that gives you 5% recruitable population. Uh, yeah, yes, please. Especially in Old World Blues, where you're going to have an issue with manpower quite a bit. So now I'll follow down the focus tree, and uh, I'll probably go right side first to get the cores on the territory, and then left side to get intermediate tech, uh, which is awesome. So we'll get a little bit of a boost here. And then we're going to follow down by going uh, the right side. And nice. And we're going to keep following down this. And we're actually never going to stop researching it because it's so important the buffs it gives us later on. I'm going to research the uh, saw, dynamite, uh, anti-air. And I'm going to implement these into my uh, template because it's going to give me the right amount of stats I need to be able to crush anybody in my way. And also logic companies because you know me, I love my supply. Oh yeah, the Roach King's starting to look pretty strong now. So the focus went off where I got the cores, but I still am taking a huge hit on my garrisons because of the new update, obviously. So what I'm going to do is go over to the organization marketplace and just buy some uh, guns from the gunrunners. And I'll do that every uh, amount they let me because that'll actually help sort out the difference of guns I'm not going to be producing right now. This focus is awesome. It gives you minus 15% production cost on your roaches. So that's something that's going to rate off the start, help increase a lot. I'm going to take this advisor because you need 15% less required garrisons, and that's just going to save us a lot of manpower throughout the way. And I just did the focus that changes the vault uh, into the Roach King's throne, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and take Raiders over Heavy Roach, which gives us a war goal on the Old Believer, since I want to get to war early, and I think I should be able to take them early on and get some good encirclements. And I'm going to go ahead and buy some dynamite from the Butcher Pete, stat into my divisions to give them a little extra firepower. And like that, I was able to buy more than my divisions actually need to fulfill them, and I added Lodges in. I'm 
I'm also going to take Faithful Henchman because he gets you the daily compliance gain of 0.05, but it's super useful because that's going to help you uh, not waste as much manpower and guns in the long run, especially if you're taking over a lot of territory. Awesome. With that focus done now, I'm actually going to do this one as well so we can get this, and it actually gives you 20% off your production cost of roaches. And since we got the Oracle, let's go ahead and pop our Cypher, pop it down at 3 speed, and declare war. All right, let's see how we do. Okay, first move I'm going to do... Let's be a little aggressive here, see if we can go for a uh, encirclement. Oh, there, they're moving, they're moving. And I'm going to go ahead and pin with these guys. Make sure they don't get out. Damn, perfect. And there, we got our first encirclement, and we're going to have these guys support attack it. And we should be able to finish this encirclement off quick. We just really need to get this guy in this place so they can't break it easily. They move for that tile. They're going to move to protect their capital. Oh, well, wow. we move to finish these guys off. Uh, phrasing. And we're actually going to go ahead and pop the attack, force attack, because I want to kill these uh, encirclements as fast as possible. Okay, yeah, see, we they, they forced their special forces there, and now they're in attrition because we took that. Let's go ahead and actually attack this guy because we know we can win that. We just need a little bit more. As long as this guy doesn't move in here, we should be fine. But worst case, we can just hold. Oh, as soon as I say that, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, we're just going to try to counter him with this unit here. We might lose this city, which is fine, though. Less than a day on the left side in the encirclement. That is perfect. And we're going to finish it from all sides just to make the combat width as wide as possible. Gallop, now it's only two days. And there goes there. Yep. Perfect. Let's see. Less than a day. And there we go. Nice. Okay, now we're going to move into this position with him. And these guys, yeah, we'll fill in like that. Perfect. They're confident. And now we can make actually another encirclement. So we're going to keep that attack going. And then we're going to just do this with this guy. We're going to be a little aggressive here, but I think it's going to pay off. We're just going to do a move like this. A move like this. We're going to pull this guy and start attacking with the next two groups of roaches. Like this and move this guy in while I move up like this. Oh, no. Oh, they moved too fast for me. Yeah, we got to keep these guys pinned here so they can't sneak in behind us. Maybe we can make a double encirclement. We'll see. We'll see. We just got to finish this as quick as possible. Excellent. Okay, so the encirclement is full. We can actually stop attacking here. We're going to go ahead and actually defend. And then with this guy, we're going to keep attacking. Perfect. He's actually in the perfect position. Yeah, and the encirclement shouldn't last very much longer. These guys will hold up north. Oh, look, and they're actually losing a lot of their positioning because they're moving around so much. So we're just going to go ahead and move up. Like this and go for southern encirclements as well. And look at this. We should be able to do this and go across. Oh, excellent. They're really putting themselves in bad positions here to try and unencircle themselves. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can... Oh, there we go. And we have the encirclement. Perfect. And we're going to hit it from all sides again, per usual. Okay, so they're attacking like that. We're going to restart the attack. And then instead of attacking their attack... Boom. Yeah, that should work. And you move back in here like this. Perfect. Take those factories. And the north will completely belong to us. Get some org back. Support attack. Perfect. He's going to retreat. There we go. Because they kept attacking outwards. Yep. Get him back into position. Keep these guys going. Nice. That's almost done. We're going to do a force attack now to finish this up as quickly as possible. We have 0% stability. I didn't even realize. Whoops. Uh, who needs stability when you have roaches? Am I right, boys? Okay, perfect. So that encirclement is done, and we just need to keep taking this, and this war should be won. Look, they've only killed 65 of my units, and I've killed 2,000. 2.3 thousand of theirs. And might as well just go straight for the capital. Yeah, we didn't even really check what our division stats are. I mean, they're not even anything special. Their breakthrough's pretty good, though. That's the perks of being immune. Okay, instead of uh, doing the support attack, we're gonna actually go straight through and see if we can get another encirclement on these guys. Might as well, right? There we go. Don't let the attack up for a single second. Perfect. See, we're, we might get the next encirclement. Oh, if we're so lucky. Oh, no, they're pulling back. Oh, they managed to retreat some troops out. No. It was almost a nice big encirclement. It's their motorized. Oh, there we go. There, they capped. Perfect. That wasn't too hard. Confirm an exit. There, we got everything. And all these spots we just conquered are going to get juicy mills in them. Thank you. I'm actually going to go ahead and get the war goal on the church silo. I know at some point Three Rivers is going to declare on me, but I think if I go ahead and try to take out church silo quickly, I might be able to get by it. And just to make sure everything pans out, I'm going to go ahead and pop one of my roach nests, just because I know it's super early on, but I'm going to do it just so I have extra roaches to put into uh, more divisions, because more the better in this case. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to put quite a few out.
I got a third uh, spy from being able to buy them since I have so many caps. Yeah, I'm almost at a million now. So I'm going to go ahead and put my third spy and three rivers just so I can keep an eye on what they're doing. Okay, the focus popped off. Uh, I just My units aren't out yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think we're good on everything. Yeah, we're just short a little bit of fire team. Oh, let's see if we can pick some of that up in the uh, fire team weaponry. And dynamite. Dynamite. And there, we picked up better both, so... Before declaring war, now we should have a surplus. Ah, good enough. All right, let's go ahead and declare war. And I'll go ahead and hit battle plan. Oh yeah, we're melting. We have so much better stats in every regards. I think we actually have more units than them as well. So we're gonna go ahead and bump this up to four speed actually, because I think I'm gonna be able to walk right through them. And we're gonna go ahead and hit force attack because I think if this works correctly, we're going to get some encirclements and overruns just off of battle planning. Go straight for the capital because we want to get this work done as quickly as possible. Attack there. Try to get the encirclement. Attack there. Nice. We're pinning in two spots. Boom. Nice. We're actually going to get a decent amount of upgrades. Okay. You keep going. Nice. We almost have them. I think we might have got some overruns there that I wasn't looking at because I have no clue where half their army just went. I need everybody attacking at full capacity to go through here. Oh, nice. We actually got around the backside to make the encirclement. Let's try to do that. And if we can't... Yeah, we got them. Nice. That was actually one of the quickest wars I've ever fought. Confirm an exit. Nice. Not too bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Who would the next people be? Two peoples, I think. Oh, I think it's actually these guys. So we'll go ahead and line up on these guys because they might be the next people I have war goals on. So I'm going to take this focus here to get the cores. Then I'm going to take a fellow kingdom and then drama what? That way I can get the focus to take these guys down here. And then I'll do two peoples. And then I think I'll be able to attack these guys after. Let's see how my timing goes. I'm also going to switch to the state press. I know it's going to wreck my political power gain. But I really, really, really need the resistance target uh, minus. And I also need the compliance gain. And I'm not too mad about having a uh, <laughs> all my resistance go down like that. And I am in a good stockpile of everything. So overall, I'm thinking Roach King's pretty strong. I just wish he had more of a focus tree to attack everybody else in the world. Because once I attack these few people here, I think we're going to not have much to do afterwards. An adapted armor doctrine has got to be the best upgrade you can get for your roaches. It gives them plus 10% defense, plus 10% hardness, and plus 10% armor. Your roaches get 10% armor buff. That is so good. And perfect, the focus went off. So let's go ahead and do a... Because if I quickly check up here... They're not at, uh, they don't, they're not doing the focus to go to war with me yet, so we're fine to declare. I'll go ahead and declare war. Perfect. And I'll just queue up the next focus, because there's a bunch I can still do while being at war. Let's get into the war. We're going to go ahead and just battle plan again. Uh, I'm going to take two of these units and see if I can just completely encircle the entire army like this. I'll put it down to four speed. This is going to be such a quick war. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. We have really good stats. Let's take a look at our template really quick, because I haven't in a little bit. Yeah, not too bad. 50 breakthrough. I can't complain. Oh, I didn't get the encirclement like I thought I was going to be able to. Keep them moving in. Boom. Oh, look, they think they can actually uh, do something here. That's hilarious. They're going to try to re-encircle me from behind, possibly? Do a support attack like this. Nice. Okay, we're for sure breaking that. These guys need to go all the way through. They go like that, like that. Ha, ah, perfect. It's all coming together, guys. Nice, we made a breakthrough here, and that was their next capital. Oh, we got a roach went off here for some reason. 1k to 23. Yeah, and they're about to cap. Easy. Let's go. Not a bad war at all. We're uh, really strong as the roach. I'm not going to lie. Since we have time, we're going to go ahead and try to get the focus for two peoples. And nice. We're starting to get cores on everything as well since uh, we have such high uh, compliance. Uh, it looks like Three Rivers is posturing up on my border, but I think I actually have more than enough units to either keep them from attacking or they don't think it's a good idea yet. Uh, the army in the front here is a little bit under-equipped, uh, but that's fine because they're not going to have much to face off against. And okay, our war goal is complete, so let's go ahead and go in. We're just going to go ahead and click the battle plans because I think it should go pretty well for us. Oh, they actually have pretty good defense, but uh, that doesn't matter when my roaches are going to fully encircle their army within seconds. We got them beat in numbers alone. That's the nice thing about roaches. I think they multiply pretty quickly. Boom, move in, and lots of encirclements for us. We'll have this war done in no time, guaranteed. Keep walking for all the cities as well. Oh, there we go, and there the encirclements go. Oh, yeah, we're literally crushing them so quickly. We hardly even have time to keep up with how fast the uh, we overrun them. Oh, no, I got encircled. But am I going to get the capital? 
First time I've gotten encircled all day. Oh, there we go. We killed them. <laughs> no units lost. That's really good. I didn't want to lose any. Another country brought under my rule. I think that leaves... If we check the focus tree... Wait, that was everybody! That's everybody our focus tree has uh, for war goals. So let's see if we get attacked, and I'll keep you guys updated. And there, we finally got Sister Roach. He is not <laughs> a rad roach, but you know what? I'll take it. My production's been super simple, but now I'm getting to the point where I don't have enough water still to feed my roaches, so... Okay, so I got Crown Jewel done, and nobody else has declared on me yet, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, because I did a test build yesterday, and these guys declared on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and justify a war goal on them. It's gonna take 120 days, but uh, then I know I just took care of everybody, because nobody's tried to declare on me or anything, and... I haven't gotten any war goals or anything for anybody, and I've been just trying to core territory, and this is taking forever. So I think it's best if I just maybe do this one last war and then call it there. Also, I thought this was really unique. It's use your wings focus tree, and it gives you basic air tech as ra uh, rad roaches. And I thought it was funny because it's like use your wings as a rad roach, but uh, very good intentional design in this focus tree. Even if it does feel short, it is good. And I'm up to almost producing 17 rad roaches a day. This is just ridiculous. Okay, so I was accidentally really papega and forgot to uh, record this, but the war went really, really well. Pretty much uh, just rolled them instantly, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the last little bit. It was all on 5-speed, pretty much battle plan, so you guys didn't miss out on too much. I got a few good encirclements, but you know what? We'll just have to see that in the next video. And boom, there we go, we got them capped. So let's go ahead and quickly do this peace deal. And look at that, perfect, we got all the territory. So I think this is probably a really good place to end it off because I don't have any more cores on territory around me. So it wouldn't make sense really to go to war with everybody. I'll end up just exhausting my resources that I don't have a ton on. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a rating and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And if there's any other nations or mods you guys want to see me play in the future, please leave a comment below and uh, I'll try my best to get to it. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching.